Hi everyone, welcome back to another class with Arash from the YouTube channel English with Arash. I'm back with a new book, with a new lesson of my IELTS course, the book IELTS 12, Cambridge IELTS 12 Academic. I will be working on the first test of this book and I will be only working on section 1. If you haven't seen my previous videos, make sure you go to my YouTube playlist Go to IELTS listening course and you will see that I have completely covered book 11 and this is the first unit of book 12. All right, let's get started. I want you to pause the video, go get a piece of paper and write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On this paper, I'm not cheating. There's nothing behind this. I mean on the other side of this and I am taking this exam with you it's my very first time taking this exam uh, so you will know my real score when I'm done with this and I want you to take this with me especially if you're planning to take the IELTS exam because this will really help you get an understanding of how you will actually perform in the real exam and these are standard questions IELTS listening questions from the Cambridge books. Let's get started. I am going to play this audio for you while we are listening to the audio. So this is the test that we should do. This is test, this is actually test one, you know, test one of the book, but it's just in test five here. So we want to do this test, only section one. It's a gap filling exercise. There are 10 questions. We are only covering these questions. Remember, you can write one word, one number, one word and a number so these are the options you have that's the meaning of one word or and a number so let's get started i'm going to play this audio now i should go to uh ielts 12 audio section one all right before i play this i want to turn off my webcam and i want to turn off my microphone so you can completely focus on that screen the test and take this I'm taking it too actually in the real exam you don't write them here because in the real exam you should write them here in the blanks you write them okay and then you transfer them to the answer sheet which is here this is the answer sheet so today I will be covering question 1 to 10 this is what I'm covering today okay so yes I'm covering from 1 to 10 but because I don't want I want you to be able to take the exam with me I try to uh, write them on a piece of paper so you can take the test with me too I don't want to spoil the questions or write the answers on the PDF let's get started <laughs> Cambridge English, IELTS 12, Tests 5 to 8. Published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge English Language Assessment 2017. This recording is copyright. CD1. Test 5. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section 1. Section 1. You will hear a man inquiring in a tourist centre 
about activities suitable for families. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 4. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Hi, can I help you? I'd like to find out if you have any excursions suitable for families. Sure. How about taking your family for a cruise? We have a steamship that takes passengers out several times a day. It's over a hundred years old. The cruise takes place on a steamship. So steamship has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. Hi, can I help you? I'd like to find out if you have any excursions suitable for families. Sure. How about taking your family for a cruise? We have a steamship that takes passengers out several times a day. It's over a hundred years old. That sounds interesting. How long is the trip? About an hour and a half. And don't forget to take pictures of the mountains. They're all around you when you're on the boat and they look fantastic. Okay. And I assume there's a cafe or something on board? Sure. How old are your children? Uh, my daughter's 15 and my son's 7. Right. Well, there are various things you can do once you've crossed the lake to make a day of it. One thing that's very popular is a visit to the country farm. You're met off the boat by the farmer and he'll take you to the holding pens where the sheep are kept. Children love feeding them. <laughs> my son would love that. He really likes animals. Well, there's also a 40-minute trek round the farm on a horse if he wants. Do you think he'd manage it? He hasn't done that before. Sure. It's suitable for complete beginners. Ah, good. And again, visitors are welcome to explore the farm on their own, as long as they take care to close gates and so on. There are some very beautiful gardens along the side of the lake, which also belong to the farm. They'll be just at their best now. You could easily spend an hour or two there. OK. Well, that all sounds good. And can we get lunch there? You can, and it's very good, though it's not included in the basic cost. You pay when you get there. Right. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. So, is there anything else to do over on that side of the lake? Well, what you can do is take a bike over on the ship and then go on a cycling trip. There's a trail there called the Back Road. You could easily spend three or four hours exploring it, and the scenery's wonderful. They'll give you a map when you get your ticket for the cruise. There's no extra charge. What's the trail like in terms of difficulty? Quite challenging in places. It wouldn't be suitable for your seven-year-old. It needs someone who's got a bit more experience. Hmm. Well, my daughter loves cycling, and so do I, so maybe the two of us could go, and my wife and son could stay on the farm. That might work out quite well. But we don't have bikes here. Is there somewhere we could rent them? Yes, there's a place here in the city. It's called Ratchison's. I'll just make a note of that. Uh, how do you spell it? R-A-T-C-H-E-S.
S-O-N-S. It's just by the cruise ship terminal. Okay. You'd also need to pick up a repair kit for the bike from there to take along with you, and you'd need to take along a snack and some water. It'd be best to get those in the city. Fine. That shouldn't be a problem. And I assume I can rent a helmet from the bike place. Sure, you should definitely get that. It's a great ride, but you want to be well prepared because it's very remote. You won't see any shops around there or anywhere to stay, so you need to get back in time for the last boat. Yeah. So what sort of prices are we looking at here? Let's see. That'd be one adult and one child for the cruise with farm tour. That's $117, and an adult and a child for the cruise only, so that's $214 altogether. Oh, wait a minute. How old did you say your daughter was? Fifteen. Then I'm afraid it's $267, because she has to pay the adult fare, which is $75, instead of the child fare, which is $22. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so how do we find out? That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section two. Okay. Uh, I answered all of them. The last question was a bit tricky. So you see, I wrote. Uh, five numbers here and I'm deciding which one to write. I've written one of them here, but the question is actually very important. So you always have some time. Remember, at the end of the listening test, you have 10 minutes to transfer your answers. So you can use that time to think about this question. And then you can write some numbers and then finally decide what you want to do. So let me think a little bit about it. Total cost. Farm visit, so farm visit also includes a cycling, you know, it's not just the farm because there's a cycling to the back road. Okay. Hmm. All right, so I will write 267. Let's see what will happen. I wrote six numbers, five numbers, and I finally decided to write 267 for number 10. Now I'm going to answer the check the answer key very quick. I will show you the answer key in the editing part. So test one, test five actually. Yeah. So it's mountains, right? I wrote it. Horse, correct. Garden or gardens. I actually wrote gardens. Lunch, yes. Map, experience. Ratch. R A T C H it's capital R be careful because it's a name R A T C H E S O N S helmet shops and 267 good all right so my score is 10 out of 10 you can calculate your score as well now I'm going to analyze this. All right, in order to analyze this, I will quickly go to the first part. So the first thing uh, I should do is to turn on the cursor so you can see my cursor. Okay, this is a part one, section one, so it shouldn't be hard for you. Just fill in the blanks. The one thing you want to do is pay attention to the question. It says, uh, 
Let me make this bigger. It says one word and or a number. So you have to be careful with that because because you have to know what it means. One word and a number means you can write one word, you can write one number, and you can write word plus number. Or the opposite, number plus word. Actually, you see here, the, it doesn't mean you always have to do that. It means you have these options. And here, the only ones that we needed was one word. That's one thing we needed. And one number for 267. We didn't need or. So this or part definitely, sorry, this and part was not really used because we either had to use one word and one number. But you see the question says or and two, but it wasn't really useful. I mean, we didn't use these two formats. So family excursions. So it's basically this family. They are going on holiday. They want to have some fun. They want to know what they can do. So there are some things that they can do. One of them is a cruise on a lake. That's number one. Okay, cruise on a lake. Now, what is a cruise on a lake? It means they go on a ship and they sail on the water, which is interesting. I think it's an interesting activity for a family. They go on the crew, they go on the ship, go on a cruise on a beautiful lake with many mountains. This is beautiful. And another thing they can do is a farm visit. So they actually visit a farm with animals, grass, things of that nature. Another thing they can do is a cycling trip. So what is cycling trip? It's like bicycle, bicycle trips. You are, if you are good at biking, you can do this. And finally, this is not an activity. This is the estimated cost that the man should pay for the whole family. Okay. So these, these are the three main parts you should be able to identify the important parts of the task. Always do this. Read the titles first. Okay, so let me now play this again. So we Cambridge can... English, IELTS 12, tests 5 to 8. Published by Cambridge University. Worked. I here actually there's an example. I don't think they give this example anymore so but this is a help actually for you so it says the first one cruise on a lake it is on an old steamship steamship is a kind of ship that uses you know fuel and produces steam when it is moving now read this one you can take photos of the blanks that surround the lake so remember, if this is the lake, let's say this is the lake and you are and you are traveling in this on this lake, it says you can let's say this is your ship. This is your ship and you are traveling on the ship. For example, from point A to point B. B. All right. Uh, it says you while you are on the lake on your cruise, you can take photos of the blanks that surround the lake. Surround the lake means uh, these things that we are talking about. They are here. You know, they surround the lake. They are here. Surround the lake. So what are those things that are around the lake or the things that surround the lake and you can take photos of? I help you? I'd like to find out if you have any excursions suitable for families. Sure. How about taking your family for a cruise? We have a steamship that takes passengers out several times a day. It's over a hundred years old. Oh, this was the example. The excursion and don't forget to take pictures taking your family for a cruise we have a steamship that takes passengers out several times a day 
It's over a hundred years old. That sounds interesting. How long is the trip? About an hour and a half. And don't forget to take pictures of the mountains. They're all around you when you're on the boat and they look fantastic. So don't forget to take pictures of the mountains. So she exactly said that. It wasn't really hard. Don't forget to take pictures of the mountains. They are all around you. They are beautiful. Pictures of them. How long is the trip? About an hour and a half. And don't forget to take pictures of the mountains. They're all around you when you're on the boat and they look fantastic. Okay. And I assume there's a cafe or something on board? Sure. How old are your children? Uh, my daughter's 15 and my son's 7. Right. Well, there are various things you can do once you've crossed the lake to make a day of it. There are various things that you can do once you have crossed the lake. Listen again. To your children. Uh, my daughter's 15 and my son's 7. Right. Well, there are various things you can do once you've crossed the lake. To it means, so let's say you have crossed the lake. There are many things you can do after you get here with your family. You have a daughter, you have a son, and you have a wife. The, the husband is talking. So once you get here, there are lots of things you can do. And now they are going to talk about this farm that is here. And they can go on this farm. And then there is a bike bicycling so these are the things you can do when you cross the lake make a day of it one thing that's very popular is a visit to the country farm visit to the country farm so you are here children can feed the sheep it means they can give food to sheep sheep are kinds of animals you're met off the boat by the farmer and he'll take you to the holding pens where the sheep are kept Children love feeding them. <laughs> My son would love that. He really likes animals. Well, there's also a 40-minute trek round the farm on a horse if he wants. There's a 40-minute trek right on a horse. So, what is it on? It is on an animal. I actually guessed this before. I said it's either a horse or a donkey or something like that. So, one technique that I have always told you is when you have some time to read these blanks try to guess them okay so visits can include a 40 minute ride on a bike on a horse on a bus on a what when you guess it you can understand it better when it is actually played listen children love feeding them <laughs> my son would love that he really likes animals well there's also a 40 minute trek around the farm on a horse if he wants I don't know what she said exactly. Trek around the farm? Yeah, trek around the farm, I think. But it doesn't matter. It's a it's a trek. It's a kind of traveling around the farm on a horse. So it's on a horse. And that's it. That's the answer. And here you can't write horses because it says a horse. On a horse. Do you think he'd manage it? He hasn't done that before. Sure. It's suitable for complete beginners. Oh, good. So now I should read the next blank. Visitors can walk in the farm's blank by the lake. So apparently near the lake there are some things that visitors can walk in. What are they? And again, visitors are welcome to explore the farm on their own, as long as they take care to close gates and so on. There are some very beautiful gardens along the side of the lake which... There are some very beautiful gardens along the side of the lake along the side of the lake means by the lake that's the meaning of that so you see by the lake here is a paraphrase for along the side of the lake so here maybe my drawing is not very good because uh, probably the farm is not like this you know the farm is somehow like you know the farm is uh, somehow like this it is along the lake somehow along the side of the lake there are some gardens and i think these gardens are exactly those parts where they have trees too so anyway along the side of the lake means by the lake next to the lake these are the gardens listen again and visitors are welcome to explore the farm on their own as long as they take care to close gates and so on. 
There are some very beautiful gardens along the side of the lake which also belong to the farm. They'll be just at their best now. You could easily spend an hour or two there. Okay, well... So you can walk in the farm's gardens that are along the side of the lake or that are by the lake, next to the lake. And something is available at extra cost. What is it? What is available? I don't know. Hats? Hat is available. What is available at an extra cost? Oh, that all sounds good. And can we get lunch there? You can. And it's very good, though it's not included in the basic cost. Though it's not included in the basic cost. When you say it's very good, the lunch is good, you can have it, you can get it, but it is, but it is not. She said, though it is not. Listen. There. Hey, well, that all sounds good. And can we get lunch there? You can. And it's very good, though it's not included in the basic cost. Though it's not included in the basic cost, so you have to pay for it. So what is it? It's lunch. Lunch is available, you can have it, but it is not included in the basic cost. You have to pay for it. You pay when you get there. Right. Okay. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Again, here you should quickly go through them, try to guess them. Um, sorry, one moment. Okay, so here you should try to guess it a little bit. So it says cyclists, it is about cycling, it is about bicycling, and it says cyclists explore the back road, so they can go and uh, explore that area, check that area, as something is provided. So what is provided? I don't know. A hat is provided, provided, a bicycle is provided, food is provided what is provided what is given to the cyclist only suitable for cyclists who have some this part i could really guess it if the answer is experience without even listening to it because it says only suitable for bike riders who have some ex skills or who have some experience it's not easy actually and bikes can be hired from this is the name of a store from a store what is the name of the store and it is near the cruise ship terminal cruise ship terminal means here this is the terminal when you arrive from a to b this is the cruise ship terminal so this is the terminal probably and then there is a bike store here uh, something like that you can hire bikes from so what is the name of that store let's listen Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. So, is there anything else to do over on that side of the lake? Well, what you can do is take a bike over on the ship and then go on a cycling trip. There's a trail there called the Back Road. You could easily spend three or four hours exploring it, and the scenery's wonderful. They'll give you a map when you get your ticket for the cruise. There's no extra charge. There is no extra charge. It is provided. They give you a what? They give you a map. Listen. Easily spend three or four hours exploring it, and the scenery is wonderful. They'll give you a map when you get your ticket for the cruise. There's no extra charge. What's the trail like in terms of difficulty? Quite challenging in places. It wouldn't be suitable for your seven-year-old. It needs someone who's got a bit more experience. It needs people with who have some more experience so they need some experience only suitable for ex some people with some experience teacher why not experience says because here experience is uncountable and it means a skill and you know some prior knowledge basically knowledge is not countable hmm. like in terms of difficulty quite challenging in places it wouldn't be suitable for your seven-year-old it needs someone who's got a bit more experience. Hmm. Well, my daughter loves cycling, and so do I. So maybe the two of us could go, and my wife and son could stay on the farm. Because my wife and son are not good cyclists, so I will go with my daughter. That might work out quite well. But we don't have bikes here. Is there somewhere we could rent them? Yes. There's a place here in the city. Rent means hire. 
It's called Ratchesons. Ratchesons. And I was like, what? I'll just make a note of that. Uh, how do you spell it? R-A-T-C-H-E-S-O-N-S. It's just by the cruise ship terminal. Okay. You'd also need to pick up a repair kit for the bike from there to take along with you. And you'd need to take along a snack and some water. A snack and... You should have some snack and water. So water is drink, a snack is food. They are paraphrases for these two words, snack and water. Now, okay, what can be hired again? Something that can be hired. We can pay for it and get it for a few hours. To take along with you. And you'd need to take along a snack and some water. It'd be best to get those in the city. Fine. That shouldn't be a problem. And I assume I can rent a helmet from the bike place. I assume I can rent a helmet from the bike place. Sure, you should definitely get that. You should get that, you should rent that. So a helmet can be hired. Now if you don't know this word, you should write it down now before you go to your next test because it might appear helmet is basically a kind of safety hat that you wear on your head so that you will be safe. So this is a helmet motorcycle helmet bicycle helmet so yeah it's good to be safe assume i can rent a helmet from the bike place sure you should definitely get that it's a great ride but you want to be well prepared because it's very remote you won't see any shops around there or anywhere to stay you will not see any shops and you will not see anywhere to stay anywhere to stay means accommodation because accommodation is a place that you stay at because there, there are no place to stay at and there are no shops. So this first blank is shops. There are no shops and no accommodation. Cool. You should definitely get that. It's a great ride, but you want to be well prepared because it's very remote. You won't see any shops around there or anywhere to stay. So you need to get back in time for the last boat. Yeah. So what sort of prices are we looking at here? Ah, uh, prices. So this, I was a little... Uh, confused here it's a total cost for whole family of cruise because you know the cruise part all the four people are included in the cruise part I mean daughter son wife four people are here farm visits again the farm visits all of them are included for the farm part farm visits all these four people are included but for the cycling part, for the bicycling or cycling part, only the husband and his daughter, so two people. So we want to see what is the total cost for this. I was a little confused because they didn't say uh, cycling, but I think um, the farm visit included the cycling trip as well, and that's why I was a bit... Uh, uncertain at a time but I decided that okay this is probably the whole cost because that's what the man is asking for that's the total cost for the cruise and the farm visit and the farm visit itself includes the cycling uh, trip as well so we want to see what is the whole what the whole price is that they have to pay to to they have to pay two tickets for cycling and then four people for farm and four people for cruise let's see That'd be one adult and one child for the cruise with farm tour. That's $117. What did she say? This is are we looking at here? Let's see. That'd be one adult and one child for the cruise with farm tour. One adult with one child for the cruise with farm tour. That's $117. $117. Now listen more. And an adult and a child for the cruise only, so that's... An adult and a child for the cruise only... $214 altogether. $214 altogether. And listen more. Oh, wait a minute. How old did you say your daughter was? Fifteen. Then I'm afraid it's $267. <laughs> it's going up $267 because the child is uh, the daughter is not a ch is not considered a child the ticket they should buy for the daughter for the cycling 
is actually or for anything is is a is an adult so you have to pay this amount this is the total cost because your daughter is not a child actually so which one is true teacher the last one is true 267 is the total cost of this trip for them because she has to pay the adult fare they have to pay as an adult and then adult is I don't know, $50, child is $20. Which is $75, instead of the child fare, which is $22. These are not important because this is not the total cost. Remember, we're looking at the total cost, not the individual cost for a child and an adult. So this part is basically distracting. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, so how that's okay, but that's too expensive. So listen again to this part. And a child, that's one. So, what sort of prices are we looking at here? Let's see. That'd be one adult and one child for the cruise with farm tour. One adult... and one child... for the cruise... and the farm tour. And you know who these two are? Adult means mom, child means son. The son is young. So they are, it's considered, so this is part of the, part of the fare goes to that because the mom and the son are having both the cruise and the farm tour. They're not having cycling tour or cycling trips, but they are having the cruise and the farm tour and these are the mom and the son. Yeah. So, what sort of prices are we looking at here? Let's see. That'd be one adult and one child for the cruise with farm tour. That's $117. So, this is $117 for only your ma for your uh, wife and your son. And an adult and a child for the cruise only, so that's... And an adult and a child for the cruise only so one adult and one child for the cruise only 214 dollars altogether 214 dollars altogether oh wait a minute how old did you say your daughter was 15 then I'm afraid it's two hundred and sixty-seven dollars. Ah, so one of the the daughter is is old, so it's two hundred and sixty-seven dollars. Because she has to pay the adult fare, which is seventy-five dollars, instead of the child fare, which is twenty-two dollars. Hmm. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know how she calculated it, but anyway, that's 240. Um, yeah, I think this 240 is 117 plus, plus something else that makes it 214. Okay. And. Um, I think that's how she calculated that but anyway I don't know what what she did <laughs> so anyway 214 finally the, the woman said the total cost is 267 because your child is not a child your child is a teenager is a, a teenage actually it's okay uh because she has to pay the adult fa oh wait a minute how old did you say your daughter was 15 then I'm afraid it's $267 because she has to pay the adult fare. That's it. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching another video of mine. Make sure you watch the other videos as well, especially if you want to improve your listening. I have basic courses as well. Just check out the playlist. You will see A1, A2, B1, and then also B2 and C1, C2. And you will also see this IELTS course, which is good for B2 level. Have a good time, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.